Okay. So the Boy Scouts Grand Canyon Council celebrating a big birthday. 100 years in Arizona. Andy Price from the Boy Scouts Grand Canyon Council joining us live this morning. Andy, congratulations. Thank you. Good morning. How are you today? Good. So talk about 100 years of scouting in Arizona. Adventures, leadership. What have we seen? Oh my gosh, over 100 years, we've seen such a change in society. Uh, not a lot of changes in kids. What started 100 years ago with just a program for boys has grown to serve hundreds of thousands of today boys and girls in Cub Scouting, Scouts BSA, venturing, exploring, life skills, leadership, a lot of fun in the outdoors uh, that ultimately prepares young people to lead uh, lives of, uh, of community service and leadership to our uh, society. And so it sounds like in the past 100 years, the motto of the Boy Scouts, at least here in Arizona, really has not changed. That's right. The values, the core values of scouting have never changed. Be prepared. The scout law, the scout oath haven't changed in 100 years. Uh, and, and their life lessons, their guideposts that can lead people to be very successful throughout their lives. So you have something very interesting set up to celebrate this anniversary, this birthday. You have a traveling scouting museum. Is that correct? We do. We have a, it's so cool. It's got all kind of neat uh, artifacts and, and artwork and things from scouting from the past that young people and old people alike and everyone in between can go and learn about scouting. It's at the Herd Scout Pueblo, uh, which is our scout camp that's located at South Mountain, uh, 20th and Dobbins. And we have a great set of activities going on today for scouts and, and the community to come out and see what's going on in scouting. Look at the past and more, more importantly and more excitedly, to look at the future. And you can check out the museum, but you also have a holiday centennial celebration tonight. That's right, that's right. We've got the Herd Scout Pueblo lit up, it's beautiful. We had a special VIP reception last night and everyone was so excited to see what the community and our scouts will see today and tonight. Tell us a little bit more about the Boy Scouts. Um, who would, who's a good fit in this day and age? Who would benefit the most? You know, I think that any boy or girl who has an interest in having fun, trying new things, having experiences in the outdoors, uh, and uh, and who have parents who'd like for them to have good, wholesome activities that teach them good, solid citizenship, leadership, and character skills. What's the commitment like for kids who are watching saying, yes, mom and dad, I want to join? Um, how much time and effort are you putting into this? You know, we have scouts that spend an hour a week, go to activities, and, and do a little bit here and there. We're super supportive of kids that do sports and church activities and other things and you'll uh, we find that our kids are typically active in a lot of different things some scouts do more but typically about an hour a week maybe a weekend activity you know, each month and uh, super flexible and a lot of fun all right that museum looks fantastic the event tonight will be great and if people want to know a little bit about more uh, about the boy scouts how they can join how they can learn about the organization how do they do so yeah, sure, grandcanyonbsa.org is our website, grandcanyonbsa.org, and all kinds of information about not only today's activity, but all the activities of scouts and ways for young people and families to get involved in scouting. All right, thanks, Andy. Congratulations. We'll make sure to put all that information on the website, just in case someone missed it. Thanks so much. Awesome. Thank you.